Hello everybody and welcome to the video. My channel name is College Football Frenzy and today I'm going to be talking about the Oklahoma State Cowboys 2020 football schedule. Oklahoma State last year, they had a pretty average season. They were ranked for a few weeks. They did not finish ranked, I believe. They lost their last their last game against Texas A&M in the Texas Bowl. It was a pretty average season, but they had a great running back leading the way in Chuba Hubbard. He's coming back. They're very excited about that. Uh, you know, he has lots of potential and just all has lots of potential uh, for this upcoming season. Mike Gundy is still the head coach. Uh, so I think Oklahoma State's very excited for this upcoming season. They're going to be a preseason top 20 team. So it should be a good season for the Cowboys overall. Definitely, in my opinion, will be improvement from last season. Uh, without further ado, let's get this underway. Again, expect a lot of offense from the Cowboys. Not so much defense, but at least a lot of offense. One, Oregon State. They played each other last year. Really should not be a problem for the Cowboys. Oregon State, in my opinion, is pretty average. Definitely not on the Cowboys level. I'll take Oklahoma State here, no problem. Two, Tulsa. Another team from Oklahoma here. They're pretty average. Uh, they're in the American Athletic. They beat UCF, but that was it last year. I think Oklahoma State gets the job done pretty easily. Three, Western Illinois should be the easiest game in the schedule. That'll close out their out-of-conference uh, opponents. They really have an out. They really have an easy out-of-conference schedule. Uh, should be an easy game for them. I'll take the Cowboys. Four bye week, good time to, or not, not really a great time to have your bye week, actually, considering you just played three easy opponents. They probably won't be tired. So thinking about it, probably wish it was a little bit later on the season, because you have a tough stretch to go. Five at TCU. This is going to be a pretty important game. I think it's going to be a tough game. TCU has not had a great seat, or didn't have a great season last year. The year before that, they didn't have a great season I either. But, you know, during the playoff era, they have had a lot of seasons where they've been ranked. And even before the playoff era, they had a lot of good seasons. So this upcoming season, I think TCU will try to improve a little bit. I don't know what's been happening the last couple of years. I think they'll definitely, you know, I'll take a step forward. I expect it to be a pretty good game. I think it could go either way, really. You look at TCU's losses last year. A couple of them are close. Baylor, they took to a few overtimes. They nearly beat Oklahoma. And they beat Texas. So I definitely think they're pretty good. It could be close. Uh, I'll I'll take Oklahoma State here, but definitely TCU will give them a big, a big challenge. Iowa State, another team that's pretty good in the Big 12 that could give Oklahoma State a big challenge. I think Iowa State's going to be a top 25 team next year. This should be should be an entertaining game. Uh, so this could go really either way, in my opinion. I would give the advantage to Oklahoma State. They're home, and they have the better talent overall. But still, Iowa, Iowa State could definitely give them a good challenge. Seven at Kansas. You can have a great coach or in a decent coach, but still, it won't matter if you don't have any talent whatsoever. Uh, I, I consider Les Miles to be a pretty good coach, but, you know, just Kansas is terrible talent-wise. So, no, Kansas is not going to do much this upcoming season. I'll take Oklahoma State. Eight at, at Oklahoma, big rival, the Bedlam game. Big, big game here. Winners going to control their own destiny to make the Big 12 championship game, in my opinion. So this is a very big game. Oklahoma, I think, will already have maybe two losses, maybe one. I think they're going to lose to Texas and maybe somebody else. Uh, so I expect this to be a pretty good game. I think it's going to be back and forth exciting. Expect a lot of scoring, obviously, a lot of points, not much defense. That being said, it's at Normand. That definitely helps Oklahoma. Oklahoma has Oklahoma State's number. I'll take I'll, I'll take the Sooners here. You know, they still have a lot of talent overall. They are losing a few guys, but still, they should be a pretty good football team. I'll take the Cowboys. I mean, I'll take the Sooners, but the Cowboys can definitely put up a fight. Nine, Texas Tech. I don't see a problem with this game. Oklahoma State should win pretty easily. Ten at Baylor. Last year, I would take Baylor, but Baylor's lost a lot. Most mostly Matt Rule, obviously, mainly Matt Rule. He was a great coach for them last year. And even still, with his great coaching, they could have very well been 6-6 six and six last year. I'm not joking. They cut it close with West Virginia. TCU took them to a few overtimes. Uh, there were a lot of close games. Needed a game-winning field goal against Iowa State. So they, you know, had a couple close games last year. Uh, this upcoming season, I think a harder schedule. No Matt Rule. You're losing a couple guys. New head coach. 
it's going to be a tough year for Baylor, in my opinion. I know it's at Baylor, but I'm taking the Cowboys here. I think they get it done. 11 West Virginia. Shouldn't be a problem here. West Virginia is pretty average. I think Oklahoma State wins this one. 12 at Kansas State. Tough game here. Definitely a tough game. I think Kansas State is is not as good talent-wise as Oklahoma State, but they've definitely been known to upset some good teams like they beat Oklahoma last year. So this is going to be a challenge for them. I think this one, uh, you know, definitely it could go either way. Uh, I'm taking Oklahoma State, but I definitely think it'll be close. Texas, well, this will be a big game. This could be to get into the Big 12 championship game. Really, it might be the second place game. So it's a big game, very big game. It's on a Friday, I believe. Home against Texas. I think it's going to be close. They beat Texas at home a couple of years ago. So it's a very big game. Should be exciting. Talent-wise, I feel like Texas has the advantage, though. It's going to be a great game. I'm taking Texas in a close one. So overall, I have the Cowboys at 9-3. and three. I have them at 9-3. It could be 8-4. and four. I think they lose to Oklahoma. I think they lose to Texas, although they could win against Texas. I think they split Kansas State and Texas, but I would I would guess that Texas would be the loss in those two. And I think they lose a third game somewhere. Maybe it's TCU, Iowa State, or Baylor. They lose one of those. So that averages out to 9-3. and three. I think that's pretty good overall, an improvement from last season. It's a pretty good season, enough to get you into the top 25 and into a pretty, de- a pretty decent bowl game. Uh, maybe the Alamo Bowl. That's a pretty good bowl game. I would think they would go there. Uh, but that is it for now, guys. Thank you for joining in. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my other videos. And leave your comments down below for how you think Oklahoma State will do. I think they're definitely going to improve. They just, you know, I feel like the schedule is not ne- necessarily favorable to them. They have a couple tough games, especially those big ones against Oklahoma and Texas. But that is it. Thank you for joining in.